Hi everyone, it's Scott Allen for the Raw. It was Matt Tamura who got a hat-trick of tries for the Brumbies against the Force last week, but Henry Spate was also in great form. His speed, strength in contact and ability to stay on his feet even after he's hit in a tackle make him very hard to defend against. His only try came early in the second half to kill off any hope the Force might have had of getting back into the match. Let's have a look at how the play leading up to that try unfolded. On the second phase of the sequence, Leo Lafano moved into first receiver. He's got Kurandrani outside him and he's going to be the main decoy runner. Tamur was positioned behind Kurandrani, ready to set up a second line of attack, linking up with Mog and Spate out wider. Both of them are out of the frame at the moment. The force had Hodgson, Hallett Petty, Holmes, Tuatara Morrison, Rasalia and Cummins in defence, as well as others coming across in cover, so they had plenty of numbers to shut this attack down. When we look at the setup from behind the Brumbies, there is space to attack in, but the force have got six defenders to the Brumbies' five attackers. Kurandrani's going to run a pretty straight line and he'll try to attract as many of the inside defenders as he can. As he runs that line, Tamura will run a cross field out behind him and he'll receive a pass that goes behind Kurandrani. Even if all three of the inside defenders are attracted to Kurandrani, the force have still got equal numbers defending the Brumbies players. It should have been a simple case of man or man defence, with each man coming up on the inside shoulder and pushing out on the attacker they were opposing. However, as the ball's passed to Tamua, Rasalia shoots out of the line and jams in from the outside on Tamua, trying to stop him from passing the ball out wide. Tuatara Morrison, who was on the inside of Rasalia, started moving across field and actually went behind Rasalia. It was a risky choice from Rasalia and turned out to be the wrong one as Tamua made the pass out to Mog and the force cover was then playing catch-up. It was an unnecessary play and opened up an opportunity for the Brumbies that shouldn't have been there. Cummins was left with two quick runners coming at him with plenty of space to defend. The force cover defence did a reasonable job of getting across, but Spate doesn't need much space to make something happen. Mog gives it to Spate on the far side. Henry Spate takes the ball. Oh, what a try! Three poor attempted tackles from the force made Spate's job easier, but he's a great finisher. In this next example, he created something from nothing down the short side to set up another try for Tamua. White showed good vision to recognise the opportunity was there and got the pass out in front of Spate so he hit the ball at pace. Cummins had trouble with Spate all night and this was no exception. Spate made a good offload to Tamua and the Brumbies were in again. And Scotty down there for a hat-trick is that man, Matt Tamua. Oh, what a game the Ten is having. Then Spate showed that he can make a break through midfield just as well as he can out wide when he burst onto an inside ball from Tamua and ran a great arc to nearly score. Spate becomes eligible for selection for the Wallabies later this year and no doubt Ewan McKenzie is looking forward to that. In the meantime, Spate's going to be a key player for the Brumbies if they're going to stay alive in the final series starting this week against the Chiefs.